The dark truth about Jamaica's money Money is a very influential economic measure of value and a commodity that is exchanged in return for goods or services. A nation's money is the driving force behind all commercial activities within that country. The scope of influence of money is widely known, and so, people conveniently assume that their government produce money under very regulated conditions. Most Jamaicans don't ask where our money comes from, or how the creation of money is regulated, so that the persons responsible for printing money don't just print money for themselves and get very rich. What many Jamaicans don't know, is that the Jamaican dollar is printed in England at a company named Thomas de la Rue, and in Germany at a company named Gesik and Devrant. Before you fall off your seats asking yourselves how our government could be so naive, as to import our nation's money, rather than printing it themselves, just look at the lower back part of your money to see that the evidence was printed there all along, in fine print of course. And don't be surprised if the new currency design doesn't have the maker's name printed onto it, because Jamaicans are increasingly taking notice of the fact that foreigners print our money, and the fine print isn't enough to hide it anymore. Removing the fine print which tells us where our money is created, may be one of the reasons why our currency is being redesigned, the Jamaican dollar was introduced in 1969. Before that, Jamaica used the Jamaican pound, which was connected to the British pound since 1840. The Jamaican pound was printed in England, and after independence, apparently nothing changed. That is because, to this day, our money is still being printed by our colonial oppressors in England, since our money is being printed in a foreign country. You would expect that the Jamaican government would see to it that the process of creating our money is well regulated, so that the company of Thomas de la Rue and Gesik and Devrant don't print our money and use it to buy property in Jamaica, foreign currency or whatever they feel like, since the companies that print money are the most lucrative place for fraud to develop. Remember that the persons printing our nation's money are just people, and therefore, they will be tempted to print some for their personal benefit. It's just a obvious possibility that we take for granted. Another puzzling question is. How does the government of Jamaica pay for the services of a privately owned company to print our nation's currency? They definitely can't use money, since they are paying for the printing of that same money. Remember, Thomas de la Rue and Gesik and Devrant are businesses owned by business people, who are in it to make a profit. So, how do they get paid to print money for Jamaica? Why is the government of Jamaica, allowing a profit-driven foreign company, to print the paper money of Jamaica? And does that mean that we are not independent, since the Jamaican government is importing money from the same colonial nation that used to print our money before independence? And before you say that Thomas de la Rue and Gesik and Devrant are not the same as the colonial government that printed our money before independence, it is important to note that these companies that print money, are suspected of being owned by the Rothschild banking dynasty, who has British peerage, and is therefore connected to the same royal family that colonized Jamaica. Ergo, Jamaica's former colonial oppressors, are the same ones printing Jamaica's money. We must be able to accept this fact in order to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. This is money we are talking about, and I can bet that everyone in the building at Thomas de la Rue and Gesik and Devrant can be encouraged to print enough money to bribe any regulator and any onlooker to look away as they print all the money that they want. So, the act of printing our currency at a privately owned company, in a foreign country, poses an obvious conflict of interest, and also constitute a high-level national security concern. This might be why our currency constantly loses value. Our inflation is out of control. Why most assets in Jamaica are foreign owned. Why our economy is dependent on imports and why we are always in debt. Thomas de la Rue and Company is the world's largest commercial banknote printer and banknote paper manufacturer. This Rothschild subsidiary prints the currency of all of 150 of the 195 nations of the world. A question you must ask is why do so many governments around the world print their money in England? I have already explained how risky and illogical it is to have the nation's money printed by a profit-driven company in England. Also, never forget that the money printing process is extremely difficult to regulate, because all the regulators can be bribed at any price. So, why do governments ignore common sense and sovereign law, and give up such a critical aspect of their nation's power by making a foreign company print their money? 
Politicians who love money are literally allowing a printing business in England to print their nation's money and you should be asking yourselves why? In order to understand the importance of a nation printing its own currency, and how that fact can stifle a nation from developing, the British decided to print the currency that the American colonies used, and that decision directly led to those colonies taking their independence from Britain, and forming the United States of America in 1776. The fact is that, the company that prints our money is controlled by colonial forces in England. And so, if they wish, the royal family could very well bribe every man, woman, and child in Jamaica, with our own money, in order to try to turn Jamaicans against any revolutionary or independence movement, that is vocally opposed to the Queen remaining as Jamaica's head of state. We cannot consider ourselves to be independent, if our money is printed in a foreign country by our former colonial oppressors. Therefore, the Jamaican government should take steps to facilitate the printing of our money, and not outsource such a vital component of our nationhood. And so, Jamaicans should not be tricked into selling their freedom and independence, while the British and the Chinese are seeking to recolonize us. Black people, it is time to